Well, um, today, like I said earlier, all about crappie, but um, let's talk about, um, and it's a record production year. Back in, in 2024 was a record production year. So I first wanted to dive into hatcheries, just kind of do an overview of, of, of hatchery production, uh, maybe some of the goals of our hatcheries and, and things like that, and then we'll dive into the success we've had. Yeah, right, right. We, we use hatcheries um, to help produce fish um, as a management tool. Uh, fish stocking is a management tool that we use um, for for a variety of reasons. Like our Florida largemouth bass program, we're trying to influence the genetics of those bass populations in the lakes where we feel that it can be productive. Mm -hmm. um, something like a crappie, we may be trying to boost populations where natural reproduction is not successful. Uh, there may be a year based on water quality or water levels that we lose an entire year class and we try to supplement that. And, and we get that information through some fall trap net surveys that our crews do on our reservoirs to see what type of product, natural production we had in those reservoirs. Um, some of our uh, tributary reservoirs have issues. There are huge drawdowns that, mm. that TVA conducts on some of these reservoirs. So in the spring, those water levels may shoot up and the crappie may come up to spawn, uh -huh. uh, but TVA needs to re restore that uh, flood capacity, that uh, capacity to hold water. So they'll drop those lakes back down quickly. And sometimes that can interfere with that reproduction because right. it's already started. And so in those instances, we try to go back and stock crappie in those reservoirs that need it. And, and we have a formula to rank those reservoirs based on the amount of use, uh, uh, the target for crappie, the, the reproduction that we can, and then there are routine surveys, the electrofishing surveys that we conduct. Mm -hmm. So um, we use all of those to factor in to determine where the fish should go and, and what stocking rates we can use and, and try to produce those fish. And typically um, in our warm water hatcheries, we have been averaging around 980,000, close to a million crappie a year production fingerlings. Now, these are, these are small fish. But in 2024, we went up to about uh, 1.9 million. Wow. It was a huge, huge boost. And uh, we're in the middle of that process right now in crappie production in 25. Um, that we collect brood fish in the spring, they go out and electrofish, bring those fish into our warm water hatcheries. And typically what we had done was, was take those brood fish and put them into ponds. Uh, that we had tubs full of the appropriate gravel substrate for them to spawn in. Okay. And we would let the fish do that naturally in, in those uh, tubs just spawn naturally. Uh -huh. and, and there could be a lot of variability depending on weather in those ponds and when they would spawn. And you might have some fish spawn sooner than other 